Welcome to Burnside Highlights for the 14th of February, Valentine's Day. And I'm here to love and admire this beautiful mural that's been painted on the toilet here in Tusmore Park. If you want to find out more about the artist and how it came to be, please look at the Focus newsletter that will be out at the beginning of March. Fringe is here in Burnside. Please check out the Regal's website for night owl shows that have just come from the UK. Performances of music and song from artists like Elton John, Dolly Parton, Dusty Springfield, Carole King and James Taylor, to name a few, are on at the Regal starting on this Friday night. Check out other events at the Civic Centre too. Do you believe that local government voting should be compulsory? Do you think there should be fixed terms for councillors? Should councillors be divided into wards? These are just some of the answers the Minister for Local Government wants to hear about. There are still opportunities for you to have your say. Go to Local Government Participation and Elections Review at yoursay.sa.gov.au. State planning is seeking your feedback on proposed changes to the bushfire hazard mapping and overlays in the Planning and Design Code. The statewide Bushfire Hazards Overlay Code Amendment is reviewing, updating and improving the six bushfire hazard overlays. Much of Burnside fits into this zone. So go to the page and ensure the right measures are in place to help save lives and build a more climate resilient community. For further information about this code amendment, visit the Plan SA website. Burnside Council is now accepting applications for community grants until the 25th of March. Grants of up to $5,000 are available to eligible not-for-profit community groups and organisations who provide services or programs to the City of Burnside residents. We are looking to support community projects or initiatives that build a welcoming and connected community, enhancing inclusion, participation and well-being in line with the Burnside 2030 Strategic Community Plan. If you have any questions, please direct them to the Community Development Team. The annual community survey has begun, so you may be one of the several hundred residents, ratepayers, who will be contacted by phone to answer some questions about council services and give us feedback to help us in making decisions and we will take your opinions very seriously. There are some opportunities available for Burnside young people, firstly, to join a youth environment group and secondly, to experience a life-changing trip on the sailing ship, the one and all, with the Rotary Club of Burnside. Please check the council website or Facebook page for details. I noticed some publicity in the newspaper about a library of things, as if it was something new. But we've had a little library of things for a number of years here in Burnside, just inside the main entrance of the library. So come and check it out sometime. Borrow instead of buy. I love this initiative from the library this week. Random Acts of Kindness Week. Books relating to kindness are for all ages, as well as art bookmarks to decorate and hide for others to find amongst the shelves. Visit the Kindness Corner in the Children's Library as well and read a story to someone to make their day. There'll also be a stall in the cloisters with lots of ideas about how we can spread kindness in the city. No matter how small it seems, something as simple as a smile, an uplifting message, or acting in a thoughtful manner can cause a ripple effect because kindness is contagious. Thank you, library staff. Keep up the kindness all year long. I will end on that note today and see you all again in two weeks time.